watch your fix. Hi, I'm Sean from a t-shirt. <laughs> I didn't plan that at all. I just grabbed t-shirts, so. <laughs> I'm not from my t-shirt. But it's my initial, so I remember who I am. Which is Sebastian from investcomics.com. And this is Fick. We got ducks. We got ducks. Supergirl duck. Green Lantern cooking show duck. Yeah, it doesn't look like the, I don't know his name, but it looks like the dude, the diner. He, he's show. on like everything on Food Network and a lot of commercials. Doesn't. You know the guy. We got books. We do. We also got ducks. We do. Code red. And ducks. Shelly. Aquaman number five. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I, I villains? Just Aquaman don't need a villain to have a good book. <laughs> you don't need no stinking villains to have nope. a good book. This is the Atlantis prequel. He gets much. his just desserts. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Here's the best part. I just got done playing Uncharted 3 and there's a lot of desert stuff, so reading this was the worst thing <laughs> for me. I'm like, I'm so sick of deserts. But this this was awesome. And then the next one, I guess, is just a villain with Mira, which I'm cool with. But I don't <coughs> know if Ivan Rice is drawing it the next issue or not. I, I don't know. But Great. Okay, it's, it's a great book. Aquaman's awesome. It's, it's a win. Justice League number five. I thought it was amazing. I don't care what he thinks. His opinion stuff. Thought it was okay. It's just it it's that team building moment. It, and each issue has had that, but this is just even better with Hal and Batman, and and he reveals himself, and he's like, I, look, I, I, I'm I don't, just I don't see Batman being that quick to go. Hey, arrogant prick. You remind me of me. Uh, I Hi, see him doing. I'm Bruce. It, they didn't shake hands. And it's, Batman seems a little more... I didn't shake hands. Look, I'm Batman. In the new DCU, I've been operating for seven years, whereas everyone else has only been five. I'm that secret. Was, I've known you for 23 minutes. Hey, he has this is my origin. Trust. Really? 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 That's a... He had to establish trust. And it's the pers it's supposed to be the jumping on point for everyone who's interested in DC it stuff. It was so a it jumping worked. on point, because right after that, Batman jumped on... A parademon. Yep. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. So, I, I thought it was good. Two yeah, good as, books. As plans go, it was an interesting one. This one, I... Alright, Game of Thrones. Maybe. I keep telling you, they are doing a, a fantastic job. Is there incest? No, not on this issue. Alright, they are doing a fantastic job Everything's of... Everything's worse with incest. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> They're doing a fantastic job of adapting this book. The, the art is gorgeous. The story is following the book really well. I was just talking to Jared before we started right. filming. And uh, he hasn't seen the show. He hasn't read the books. I know it's weird, right? But he's loving this, and uh, that, that, that is doing such a good job that even if you're not already part of the Game of Thrones obsession cult culture here, you you can still love it. Jared was raving about it, so this is good. Read this. Was he that fat in the show? I don't remember the main dude. He was maybe. fat. Yeah. I don't remember him being that fat. Then. All right, we'll go with it. Is he, he's fat in the book. He's fat in the show. He's fat in the comic. Um. Green Hornet, number 21, from Dynamite. Uh, oh, this was issue five. I'm saying that because I'm the one who has to put the <laughs> damn things in now, and I'm never going to remember. Uh, Green Hornet, number 21. This was one of the, the, the best issues of, of this entire series. It was a nice, um, done-in-one story, uh, flashback to, um, well, not a flashback, but he uh, finds an old friend of his who they used to do, like, boxing and kickboxing and, and freestyle fighting together. The other guy's gone pro, but it's gone bad, and he gets himself in all sorts of trouble and uh, enter the Green Hornet. And it was it was just just a really, really solid story. Secret Avengers 21.1, that's our phone. <laughs> Ignore it. Secret Avengers 21.1, Rick Avengers first issue, and it's pretty much Captain America going, I need a new leader for this rogue Avengers team I have. Let's try out Hawkeye. Let's see what happens. Awesomeness happens. And Captain America, <laughs> Captain America gets to be a prick to Hawkeye. On purpose. I it's like his more, plan. <laughs> I wish all the Avengers books were this good, but I, Rick Avenger, good job. If, who, who's going to be writing the... Um, Remember writing the no, rest of Secret Avengers. I'm not talking about that. Who's going to be writing it? It's, uh, is it who, who's writing the Captain America that was Cap and Bucky was going to become like Cap and Hawkeye and Cap and... Brubaker stuff, I think. I think See, it's Brubaker. This, if, 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 they get, if they get along like this, it's, it's going to be a great book. Yeah. Superman, number five. The wardiest comic. Attack of the Superpowers. No, not the old action figure line. Just, oh. um, just powers. This was not super wordy. I, I liked well, this that's... issue. Now, I will confess, a lot of liking this issue was two words. Nicholas Scott. Oh, this, this issue looks so good. So, so very good. And again, George Perez 
really does have a, a you know, you can see his love of the, the Silver Age classic style super, you know, aliens, you know, Superman, is, is he Superman, is he not Superman, uh, the, the powers working on their own, even this whole cover, this just, this right here, tell me you couldn't see this as like a, um, this could have been done in that, you know, all it needs is a, great Scott, my powers have gone, and it'd be a 1960s cover, or this would easily work as a 70s or 80s Superman cover. Um, so yeah, this, this issue, while I'm still not completely on board with the whole Superman re revamp, this, this issue was pretty good. All right. And yeah, this is, you know, this is the Eat Crow episode of, uh, of Fick, because now i got to say, Firestorm number five, um, I'm starting to come around to this. I still, my, I think my biggest thing is if they would just somehow switch costumes, because I still can't, my brain can't get around the fact that Jason Rush is in something that looks closer to Ronnie Raymond's costume, and Ronnie Raymond is in the Jason Rush costume. And the Jason Rush costume, the one that came with the bad like eyeliner mascara mess. I, I, I never liked that version. Um, but this this was a decent issue. The storyline is actually a lot... Is, is getting more and more intriguing than I thought, and is good. I want to mix this in because you have like the next five. I don't care. Do what you I'm shuffling. But now you probably gave me like the next twenty <laughs> because you pulled one of your. Nope. Read more books. That's that's your problem. I did, right. and then you picked a whole bunch out of dinner. Lush. Legion of Superheroes: Secret Origins, number four. Good stuff. Getting you know how does Brainy get involved? Um, you got you know, this one introduces. Uh, Colossal Boy, you get an Invisible Kid, you, you get a lot of good stuff, and as always, um, Paul Levitz, Paul Levitz just should always write Legion, and I still think this should have come out before the other Legion books that probably, <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? Legion lost but, was a good uh, jumping point. But Chris, Chris Batista's artwork is always gorgeous, so, sure, voila. Jennifer Blood, number eight. Not Garth Ennis anymore. Yeah, this is the second issue since Garth Ennis left, and... Um, is, it off, is it at the jumping off point? It, 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 I think so. It's right. not doing for me what it did. It, a lot of it is like, you know, it, yeah, Garth Ennis, we, as we know, tends to do things that are a little extreme and a little... Crossed? What the hell was that? Crossed. But Garth Ennis manages to do the extreme without making it seem extreme. Well, it's still extreme, but he does it naturally. And it's just his thing. This, sometimes a lot of the things that happened in this issue made me feel like this was somebody going, and now I'm going to do, a, you know, a Garth Ennis move, and it just didn't, it didn't flow as natural. Um, on the opposite note, Last Phantom, number 11, this issue was so good. It's um, flashback to the origins of the, the, the Phantom plus the new Phantom, and it kind of, you know, kind of jumps a bit as, uh, towards the back, but the story... It, it explains the, 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 the look of the costume. It, ex, it, it explains a lot of the, the, the mythos and how it first got spread out. It was, and it was a really, really good issue. I don't remember who's right. Uh, Scott Beatty. Woo. Scott Beatty writing this. And, uh, and uh, Eduardo uh, Ferragato. Good stuff, good stuff. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number six. <laughs> I can't remember these things. Uh, another great issue. It, it still has that new fresh feel to it, and then it, at the very end, it, reca it, it recaptures that childhood feel by adding another memorable character in it, and it was, it was awesome. So anyone who ever... Those people. Those guys. I don't know who they are. Because you never watched the show. That's true. Anyone who ever watched the show or is a fan of you'll know who they are. So, great issue, because it's Ninja Turtles. I'm always going to love it. Did they have pizza? No, not this issue. No Get pizza. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Kirby Genesis number five. Might as well be a DC book. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Kirby Genesis number five from Dynamite. Looks like a lot of stuff's getting blown a up. A lot of stuff does get blown up. This That's is fun. this is a a roller coaster ride. Uh, BCX just just dives in with all the stuff that's been happening now. This is like everybody comes together for this fight, and it's just crazy. But that good kind of crazy. The the art is gorgeous. It's, uh, I think it flips back and forth between, yeah, Jack Herbert and Alex Ross. This is actually just, this is just a lot of fun. Uh, Voltron number two, this one came out last week. Um, Did it? Yeah. Um, 
really, I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, it's not the Voltron, it's not 100% the Voltron of the cartoons. Um, either it's, it's not at all the Voltron of the new cartoons. So, so it's like, so the that's a plus. It's mixing but, them. Yeah, it's, no, this, this um, just basically took, built from the cartoon, took a right. lot of the staple ideas, gave it its own new twist right. and origin, and then ran off. And it, it, so it's like the Ninja Turtles. No, no. no. That's what the Ninja Turtles No, because they're not throwing back in things from the old stuff. They're just going not further and further are. away. No, but it's good. It's good. It's a, it's a mix up the books. Now I got to Look, I got two in a row. You're good. Phew. Yeah. All right. Godzilla, Kingdom of Monsters. I got three in a row. So good. So very good. All monster. You got Godzilla versus Rodan versus uh, Bathra. And something I've been waiting for for a long time. Doesn't resolve whether or not they're completely out of the picture. But yeah, those two annoying little French chicks that can control the monsters get blasted off Bathra's back by, by, God, by Gojira. And I'm very happy with that. Because they, they deserve it. Go, go, Godzilla. I was going to say Incorruptible crossover, so completing the, the origin of the of the two of them of uh, both max damage, and, uh, and and the plutonian and how their origins crisscross and connect into each other. Again, <laughs> that's, that's that's your review. so good. This is just this book is just so, so and um, uh, Marcio Takara, Marcio Takara. I don't know how you say that first name. Um, his artwork is always, always gorgeous, and the, if you know, if if Boom had to lose the the Disney stuff, then it's worth it that he came off of uh, Incredibles to be on this book because it's just gorgeous. It really is. So. In Jerry having Incredibles. FF number a lot fourteen, <laughs> and Fantastic Four six or two. They go hand in hand. Uh, the art in FF is still not the oh, best. It's just so horrible. bad. So I just read the story and just went with I it. Tried, and it I tried. I kept falling out. I read Fantastic Four first and then realized so you I. should read this first because it, it leads up to everything and it's just it, it just makes Val one of the coolest characters in the Marvel Universe that no one appreciates. And then this was this was awesome. I mean, I when Reed Richards makes a phone call, Reed Richards makes a phone call. Yes, as you can guess by the cover. And then the last page. <laughs> I'm going to get help. Awesome. <laughs> you call me Avengers? No. No, no, they, that's too easy. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you have reached a hour of work. <laughs> if you need emergency backup assistance, press one. Yep, and he just press shows four. Up, and he's like, I'm here for a bigger purpose. And he is, and it's going, I can't wait till the next issue. <laughs> it's awesome. Wow. It's just a fight where all the heroes in the Marvel Universe are going to be like, Go, team. We're just going to watch any <laughs> pop. They won't have a flex. Maybe put a space helmet on Giant Man. <laughs> X Men Legacy 261. Based on the point one that Sebastian recommended with Christmas Cage, I jumped <coughs> in, and I enjoyed the point one. This one, I I don't care about this X Men villain, but it was still awesome. The way Christmas Cage writes Rogue. And, I love this issue. And Gambit, yeah, I'm, great. I'm, I don't I'm care on, about this I'm villain back on, uh, at all. I don't know who this villain was, but yeah. the solution was great. And if nothing, don't say anything. You're good at, at spoiling when I try and lead up to a spoiler. Oh, but the Rogue's last comment <laughs> on the last page to Wolverine. Yes. <laughs> Greatest way to end a book leading it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Our bad. <laughs> Wolverine's just like, damn. <laughs> brilliant. This is brilliant. Good job, Chris Gage. I am. I am Vampire. Number five. Do 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 Batman. For a guy who dresses like a bat. Batman, they do? I haven't yeah. read this yet. For a guy who dresses like a bat, not a big fan of vampires. You'd think they'd have more common. He saw Twilight. He knows what's coming to nominate. But he's like, "Why don't you sparkle?" Swear to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Find your name. <laughs> I just okay. But it's is it's really good. I'm I'm feeling bad for uh, for for Andrew, our lead vampire, who's also a vampire hunter, because even his own teammates want to kill him. Batman wants to kill him. Everybody wants to take him out, and he's like, "Look, I'm really like, can we fight the real bad guys?" But uh, Josh Falcoff doing such a great job with this story. Um, the art, uh, this I think for uh, Andrea Sorrentino's art on this issue was probably my favorite of her so far because normally she's she's dark to the point of wait what, but this time she lightened up and you know for a Batman issue you go light. That's how dark this book is. They had to lighten up for Batman, but it was good. Six good eighteen hashtag so good I'm guessing. Oh. So I read it in trade. Oh. Oh, well, um, it's um, the best book you're not reading. 
this book and this issue, uh, this is the, the first part of the, of the new storyline, um, A Town Called Penance. And basically in the, the last issue, uh, Drake, in the last storyline, Drake went missing. And now Rebecca has to go and find him. But she's in a, she goes from the encampment where she was trapped to this town that's even more messed up. And the people are just creepy looking. They, they do, um, Brian Hurt can draw some disturbing looking town folk when he wants to. And, but this, this book is beautiful, the story is great. I, I can't even put into words how much you should be reading this book. So just read it. Teen Titans number five. Is the exact opposite. I didn't read a book based on the last issue. I'm going to flip through it now because it's going to be awesome. Is it that bad? It's the the, the dialogue. <laughs> the, the dialogue oh, is, is, is is killing me. The dialogue is painful. Um, it, it, it the dialogue <laughs> alternates between dialogue that is just not how kids would speak, oh, or, no, these kids or so speak. crammed into this is how a kid would speak. And uh, yeah, but um, but really, any time I cringe at any. At the the amount of cliche that can be poured into um, who's the brick fisted kid? I don't know. I stopped reading. Oh, I gave up because it was that bad. Bunker. Is it? Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Bunker is just he, he's he's practically a walking cliche. Um, by practically, yeah, I mean he is. So yeah, it's. Mm, I guess. <laughs> Alpha flight number eight. So good. I'm, I'm just so over, over though. <laughs> But That's so what good. I, you make it an ongoing, or you make it a mini, and then you say it's an ongoing, and then you cancel so it. So much potential for more, <laughs> for more flight. The the book is. Uh, there will be another mini series. Van, in Van six Lente months. and Pac did, did great with it. Eaglesham's artwork is gorgeous. He looked uh, fantastic for for that. I'm upset about that still. E e Eaglesham is doing artwork. He's, he does some facial expressions that. Maybe he can come know, to FF. Uh, I'm, save that book. I, I'm the. You know, that would. Oh, that would be a beautiful thing. You know, Welcome. I'm I'm the I'm the ultimate Kevin McGuire fan, and this guy is getting on that level with with facial expressions. This, this is so good. Flash number five was so mediocre. What you say? Pound hashtag so mediocre. Uh, I don't. I think the 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 story this whole storyline was probably not the story to reintroduce the Flash no. to a universe, and it ended fairly cliche and the way you would. Just the way you would expect, and there was a complete. Uh, I was again. I was talking to Jared earlier. We're not entirely certain why. Um, I just, the the character uh, Manny or Mob Rule has but then the next goes, arc, that's has like a complete do. change of heart from how you know. Oh, Barry, 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 kick you in the head, Barry. And I wasn't sure. <sighs> it, it wasn't. It, it, I, I guess I can see where that was supposed to be coming from, I, but it, it it didn't. I love it, Flash, but I don't love this Flash. I love the art. I'm, I try I to support it. I like the I, first I issue a lot. I, I like the second issue, and then yeah, just straight down from it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe one day it'll be okay. Even though know, he shakes his head at me for constantly liking this, uh, I don't I'm, care. I'm still still loving Avengers Solo. Uh, the Hawkeye story is great. Is the, we got one more issue okay. of this here's, here's story my arc. Where where does this take place? Is this current? Yeah. Why does Hawkeye here have that mask, but then in Secret Avengers he has like the movie mask? It's the Marvel Universe. Spider-Man's got eight mask. different... Just pick one mask. Just pick one mask. Yeah. Just pick one mask. Spider-Man in his Fantastic Four costume, he's in his regular Spider-Man costume. Fantastic Four one changes to whatever he wants. Yeah, really. <laughs> Why didn't he just wear that one all the time? I think that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be changing it you know, everywhere. I'm just saying. I would mess with some villain's heads. But it's the Marvel Universe, because continuity, Wolverine is on 14 different teams doing 78 different things. He's a busy man. If you're at, well, that's, if you're at the, the Jean Grey school and you look out classroom window one, there's a whole fight going on. Classroom window two, there's no fight going on. Classroom window three, there's another fight. And this is all in the same classroom. So it, continuity, it, okay. it's an all I like this costume minutes. better than the, I get it, they're changing it for the movie yeah. and whatever. But this is the Hawkeye costume I like, so screw it. He's still in this. I'm happy. I like that one. And the uh, story, the the younger, <laughs> the what do you call it? Not Young Avengers. The Avengers Academy story in the background. Good. I was a little. Did you see who's drawing Avengers Academy in a couple months? I did not. Carl. Really? Yeah. Carl's on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I don't know if it's just one issue or not, but Carl Moline is going to draw an issue of Avengers Academy. It's like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm so happy right now, I don't even mind Teen Titans. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's That's a, the perfect There's a little, uh, there's, there's, there's Robot, one of the other brides of, of, of Ultron. Not quite talking like I would expect, but I don't know this character. Maybe that's how she talks. It just threw me. But still, really good. Green Lantern New Guardians, number five. I love Kyle, so I love this book. That's just how it works. It could be the worst story ever, but I'll still love it because it's Kyle. I'm being honest. But in this one, but they really, go, it's all about Glomulus in this issue. Hell yeah, it's about Glomulus. He's awesome. Glommy. <laughs> really, he gets a nickname. He's Glommy. Glomulus is Glomulus. Yeah, and Kyle Kirkham. I want that on a shirt. Stop. I just want an orange lantern and like Glomulus is Glomulus. So it's them going to the structure that they found and investigating all the planets and pretty much going, hey, that that orange thing, that's that's bad news because we didn't all see that coming. But hey, we we find non-slutty uh, tamarins, but uh, I don't know. That was upsetting. But for some reason, they've, they've got head spikes. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. But that guy just looks badass. So he does. Just, I'm just saying. Good job, Tony Bedard. You're awesome. Warlord of Mars, Fall of Barsoom, last issue, goes out with a bang. Barsoom doesn't quite fall as much as you think it would. Um, but I'm liking these books. These, these are pretty good. This, this is a good one. It's done now, so grab a trade if you want. Walking Dead 93, it's Walking Freaking Dead. There you go. <laughs> That's all. You Alter Ego awesome. 106. Not really gonna, gonna review this. Just really wanted to be able to hold up something with Ted Cord on it because I'm never gonna get to it again. Uh, I'll go on but Maxwell but also, figures. this is a damn you. <laughs> this is a, a whole a whole farewell to Dick Giordano issue. So it, it's, there's some good articles in here, really uh, really good stuff. And uh, and look, Ted Cord and the question. He's up there. And Captain Adam and Aquaman. So there's a bunch of Steve Ditko characters on the cover. How how can you go wrong? I'll hold up this one. You hold up that one. All right. You should probably see the name. I can see it right there. All right. This is, these are some some hardback collections from uh, humanoids. from humanoids. Uh, what are humanoids Press, humanoids publishing. Humanoids. Just humanoids. They're just humanoids. Um, we know one of the guys who works in their PR, and he humanoid is a good description. So uh, this is <laughs> I'll give him humanoid. Uh, this is the Tikitis. It's like tiki style Mexican wrestlers. Focus. It's it's one of those non Japanese manga books. Oh. It was it was good. It, it was it was funnier than I thought it would be, and it was it was it was just good. Zombies that ate the world, however, was really good. This did they eat the world. I they they did not, but it, this just they. Up to the I, I can't really give you a good enough description of what this entails, but if you like zombies, if you like odd indie books, and if you think zombies should be in odd indie books, then this this is the this is great. What um, if you like Green Lantern ducks? And seek help, man. <laughs> seek help. But this, yeah, Zombies That Ate the World, book one, Bring Me Back My Head, which means this is too. Jerry Friston got a lot more fun than I expected it to be. So, there you go. That's all. Quack. And see.